In this stopping distances case study, we read, classify the following relationships, drag and drop the terms linear and nonlinear into the spaces provided. So we're focusing on breaking distance versus speed. The breaking distance is the red graph. Notice how the red graph curves upwards. When the graph curves, we call this nonlinear. It's not a line. So you would drag nonlinear over here. This curved graph is easy to see as a picture, as a line graph, instead of this table. This table here is a bunch of numbers, but visualizing, we can see it very clearly. Reaction distance versus speed. The reaction distance is green. We notice that the green graph is a line. It's a straight line. It's not really curving. So we're going to say that the reaction distance versus speed is linear. Finally, total stopping distance versus speed. Total stopping distance is purple. And we have this purple graph here that's curved upwards. So we're going to call this nonlinear.